Hi everyone, this is the Pick a Card reading for Sagittarius season. So Sagittarius season runs from the 23rd of November to the 22nd of December. So um, pick a card, we have number one, number two and number three. I will pull additional cards as well, so just pick one, two or three. Um, and then go to the timestamps in the description box for your reading. Okay, so if you picked group one, then overall we have the wheel of the year. So you can expect changes in Sagittarius season and see that something that's been delayed is going to start moving very, very quickly as well. So something that you've been waiting for is going to come to fruition. I'm also seeing that for many of you, this is the last is like the last thing that needs closing out before success it is it's, it's like the last season you know that, that you're experiencing right now like this is the last step yeah page of cups here there's something new beginning for you in Sagittarius season and this new project that you're going to be doing or, or kind of like this new interest or hobby that you have or business venture, whatever it is, it's going to bring a lot of fulfillment to you. And it's like, that's what you're going to be nurturing over the, you know, this, this season. It's going to bring you a lot of fulfillment, a lot of happiness. And it is, it's that last step needed before you really manifest something that you want to manifest. I just feel like you're one step away. I'm also hearing about Leona, Le Leona Lewis Christmas song, you know, One More Sleep. So there's something about the number one here and um, it being quite important to you. You know, one's the numbers of new beginnings as well. But yeah, this is like, they're saying one more step, one more sleep. It's about final push. Sagittarius season for you guys, it's about, it's about final push. Four of wands. Oh my God, guys that one more sleep one more step until you get this which is um it's a strong foundation it's a lot of happiness and abundance it is also the twin flame union cards but you know um it's also a card of just fulfillment celebration success and it is it's that foundation a really secure foundation which is going to bring you a lot of support in your life it's like what you're doing in sagittarius season is building the support structure for the rest of your life Wow, we have the Empress and the Chariot card here. So if you picked group one, then yeah, definitely, you know, what you're doing in Sagittarius season, it's, it is um, building that support and that structure for you to really be in your power and for you to receive victory and success. There could be rewards coming in Sagittarius season for group one. And also... This is about you really being in your power. I feel like over this season, you're going to be finding more strength than you ever have before. You're going to be really in your divine feminine power, um, very stable and self-assured. There's success coming for you. There really is. There's success coming and it's coming in Sagittarius season. Some kind of recognition that you're going to be getting. And we have the lovers. Some kind of recognition that you're going to be getting, and for many of you, it's going to be from a partner, from someone that you want to be romantically involved with. I am also seeing that choices and decisions are going to be made regarding relationships. Um, you know, of these six cards, we've got four majors here. So Sagittarius season for group one is all about important life changes and transformations, and this is helping your relationships. But what it is that you're nurturing right now is to do with something for yourself. It's something which is going to bring personal fulfillment and personal satisfaction, building a stable foundation for your own life. And as a result of that, good things happen in your relationships. But this really is about um, progress being made with yourself, with your own projects, you know, taking that final step. Six of Wands, what did I say before? You're going to get some kind of pu public recognition. Six of Wands is the card of public recognition. So that's confirmed for you. So I feel like over Sagittarius season, someone's going to be recognising your worth, seeing your value. And this isn't necessarily in a relationship. This could be in someone um, that you're going to be working with. You know, it could be in your job or 
um, if you're self-employed and something that you, you've done or achieved, it's going to get publicly recognised. And we have Page of Wands here and King of Wands. Transformation is occurring, you know, the page is transformed to the king. This could be you or it could be this person that you're connecting to romantically. Someone who, someone, either yourself or them, or maybe both of you, weren't ready for things before, weren't ready for the kind of action to be taken in the connection or to be taken in your personal life. But with the King of Wands and saying, you know, finally, you're stable enough to, to see action in your life. Someone's going to be making their feelings very known for you as well. I am seeing that, you know, the sun is setting on a chapter and you're, you're having new beginnings in your life. Queen of Pentacles, this is a result of you in your, in your stable power. You know, the Queen of Pentacles, similar vibration to the Empress here, it's about you really being in your power and that is what brings about action and progress and victory and success. But something is showing up on your door in Sagittarius season, which is going to bring you a lot of abundance. This, um, this project here that I'm sensing that you're nurturing right now, which, you know, it... This could be related to something that you want to do. So some kind of new hobby or interest. It could be about beginning a new business, um, starting a new career path. It could be about just learning to love yourself. You know, it could be something like that. It doesn't have to be anything kind of like really huge and um, you know, like career based. You know, this could just be about learning to love yourself. And as a result of that, we have you really being in your power and attracting a lot of abundance and success. I'm seeing someone um, flicking a light switch. So I feel like, you know, you might feel like you've been in the dark for some time, but someone's turning the light back on and that person is you. You are taking steps in Sagittarius season to turn the light back on for yourself so that things can start moving again. It's like I'm seeing, you know, someone flicking a switch and then the whole production line starts going. So you are creating this change. You are the one who is turning the wheel. This is about you it's about your personal transformation and as a result of your transformation you can finally turn the wheel you can finally start to to get things moving again and then as you do that everything comes into alignment last card out we have karma so in sagittarius season you can expect karma it's coming back round. Whatever it is, you know, good karma or bad karma, this depends, doesn't it, on what you've been doing, what your intentions have been. But I really do believe that, you know, they have been good intentions, so you can expect good things to come. But it's also a reminder, you know, do be wary about what you put out to the universe because everything you put out there comes back to you. So, you know, make sure you are attracting good karma by being a good person. You know, that's kind of like the energy I'm getting here. But your Sagittarius season, there's something about the new moon as well. So I think the new moon is an eclipse as well, isn't it? And this card is an eclipse. I'm sure on 26th of December, we have an eclipse. And I know that's after Sagittarius season, but I do feel like that's going to be significant for many of you. But Sagittarius season is all about getting the wheel moving, this last step, um, this last thing for you to do, really so that you can have kind of peace and harmony in a relationship and um, you know you are creating this four of wands you are creating the stable foundation for yourself and for your life you know it's only when your environment is is good that you can attract good things into it you know you have to create the space for good energy and for good people to come forwards okay group one that was a really good start so i am um looking forward to things for you guys let me have a drink and then we'll get on to group two. Mm, they're telling me group two is having a holiday. Group two is going on holiday. Okay, we have the seven of cups. So overall Sagittarius season for group two, it's about choices and decisions. And trusting in the unknown. They're saying sometimes you have to make a decision without knowing what the outcome is going to be. You have to choose what is best for you in that moment without knowing what, you know, where this is going to lead you in a few months time. It's about letting your intuition guide you and trusting that whatever is meant to be for you will be for you. 
Yeah, we don't know the outcome, do we, before we start things? We just have to start. Yeah, there's definitely a holiday or travel coming for group two. And we have Ten of Swords. So, a hard, painful, literally life-shattering chapter is closing for you. So, group two, you're ending um, a painful situation in Sagittarius season. And what I'm getting now is that it's important that you don't try and put something back together. Something that has broken for you is is meant to be that way. You know, you're not meant to put this back together. You're meant to allow this to allow this to be transformed. It's not about um it's not about I'm trying to explain it as they're showing it to me, but you know, it's really hard. I'm just saying, you know, it's about throwing the pieces away and starting afresh. Thank you. They helped me out with that one. So throw the old pieces away and start again. Start completely fresh. Whether this be in a relationship or something personally. I'm just saying, you know, crumple the paper up, put it in the bin and just start again. Two of Wands. Something's coming closer in Sagittarius season for you guys. It might not be arriving just yet, but it is coming closer. Yeah, Two of Swords. There's balance being restored for you guys in Sagittarius season. Um, a lot of balance being restored. But you're going to have to keep letting your intuition guide you. I'm just seeing that... Things are going to stay a little bit in the dark for you, but only so that you can learn to trust yourself and trust your own judgment. It's about letting your intuition guide you and not relying on the 3D for confirmation. You know, really believing that it's all happening as it's meant to. You're going to be learning a lot in Sagittarius season, but good things. These aren't painful lessons I'm picking up. It's like learning something new, going back to school, studying. It's that kind of vibe that I'm getting, where it's you know, something you're really excited about learning. The Empress. So the Empress is showing out. Um, for showing up for group two as well so yeah this is about you finding your power still I feel like um, if you pick group two then you're a little bit unsure about your power you might actually you know you know uh, like you know what you're meant to do you know how it feels to be in alignment like you know how it feels to be powerful and in control but you find it a little bit intimidating sometimes I feel like group two you might be a water sign because what I'm picking up here is you know you can be very independent but you really want to be in a relationship so group two I'm getting that you know you like companionship you like being with someone and you want like warm and cozy energy basically so you might be a water sign you might just be a romantic person um, or you could have just got like a lot of water in your chart especially you know maybe your venus is a water sign or something but you're fine you can be independent but you much prefer being in a relationship seven of pentacles be patient just be patient i know you want love group two but just be patient let the signs and synchronicities guide you, you know, you're being shown that, you know, you know that someone has a lot of feelings for you, a lot of devotion here, but, you know, it might not be revealed just yet. This person's keeping their cards very close to their chest, not revealing their next move for me. I mean, I'm getting the, the feeling that something could happen in Sagittarius season, but you're not meant to know about it. It's going to be a secret. Ace of Swords, clarity, communication is coming in for you guys in Sagittarius season. There is a um, new energy here as well, a new beginning. Something's being transformed and also something is not what it looks like. So if there's a situation in your life, it could be a relationship and it is not as it appears. So, you know, it's a good thing. Basically, they're saying it's not as bad as it looks or feels right now. Ships coming in, three of wands. I said, you know, something is getting closer here when I saw the two of wands. And here it is. This ship's arriving for you guys in Sagittarius season. You know, I don't know what, it, I don't know if it's about this relationship that you really want or if it's about something else. But I'm just seeing that, you know, your delivery is arriving. It's been delayed, but something is arriving for you in Sagittarius season. 
Yeah, something that's been delayed with a hanged man. Something's been stuck for some time and whatever it is that has been stuck, it is now arriving. It's showing up and Spirit's saying it's not late. So I said it was delayed and they're telling me off it's saying it wasn't delayed. It's not late. It's on time. Just our time is different to your time. That's me being told off. <laughs> yeah, and as a result, they're now not giving me any more cards. Okay, so what is showing up is on time. In divine timing, it's arriving in Sagittarius season. Seven of Wands, it is a result of your determination and hard work. They're saying you haven't given up when giving up would have been the easy option. And the sensible option. Maybe people around you were like, just give up. Give up on this, it's not meant to be. But you're going to be starting new with this. It's like, you know, you haven't given up, but you're definitely letting go of how it was so that it can have a new beginning. So like I said, crumple it up, put it in the bin, throw the pieces away and just start fresh. And the last card we have for group two, Queen of Cups. And you know, this, I actually, I'm getting from this, you know, look at the Empress card. She's very... She's very kind of worried and uncertain here. And in the Queen of Cups, it's the same person, it's the same character, but so stable and secure. And it's funny that she's showing up in the Queen of Cups as someone who's more stable than the Empress. But I feel like, you know, you you know how it feels to be powerful, you know, and you know that you do want a relationship, you want love in your life. But, you know, you're, you're realising in Sagittarius season that, you know, you... You are fine on your own, but also I am seeing that you're attracting love. You're attracting it towards you rather than chasing it. You're sitting back and letting things flow to you. And I don't know if it's regarding a relationship, but I just know that something is arriving in Sagittarius season for you. Um, you know, something is actually going to make an appearance. Okay, on to group three. The High Priestess. And the Ace of Wands flips straight away. Okay, so Group 3 in Sagittarius season, what you have is a secret being revealed. Something that has been a mystery and been hidden from you is going to come to light. There might be some emotions, but there's going to be um, a new beginning for you in Sagittarius season. There's a bit of a lightning bolt, so I feel like for Group 3, Sagittarius season might move very, very quickly. There's going to be lots of sudden realisations and epiphanies as well in Sagittarius season. Um, but you can expect powerful, powerful change. Let your intuition really guide you. Prince of Swords. Getting some energy of someone being a little bit in and out of your life. So someone might be a little bit in and out during Sagittarius season and not be able to offer you kind of like the stability that you want right now. But all of this is important. It's part of, part of a contract, part of what's meant to happen. But yeah, I'm seeing some kind of in and out energy. And it could be that you feel a little bit up and down emotionally during Sagittarius season. If we have the Princess of the Cups here. I feel like this is you maybe waiting for someone to come in with a stable offer and I'm just getting, you know, don't wait because this person still is going to be very in and out, not quite ready. It's important that you really trust in the unknown during Sagittarius season group three. You know, you really do surrender expectations and trust in this unknown space that you're in. Seven of Cups is going to be very easy for you to focus on what has fallen away here, to focus on the past and regret. Um, but I'm being really drawn to the rose here in this card. I just feel like, you know, there is actually going to be a gift coming in for you in Sagittarius season. So there is something which is going to find its way towards you. Um, but, you know, you might find that you're really struggling with a lot of past memories over the next couple of weeks. Seven of Pentacles, so seven's all about trusting that you're on the right path and you really are group three, you're on track, um, but you know, you need to trust in the mysteries of the universe and this space you're in during Sagittarius season is exactly where you're meant to be. You need to be patient a little while longer. They're saying Sagittarius season, you know, it's not it's not necessarily the right space for you to start harvesting. Yeah, there's going to be some things which are which are ready, but 
some things are going to have to take a little bit more time and if you try and rush things before they're ready then you're going to end up with something that you know doesn't taste good it's going to be bitter and it's it's not going to be ready um it needs to be in the incubator a little while longer if you want this egg to hatch another seven you have three sevens out now group three you are on track do not give up do not do not give up on this you know don't believe that it's not happening because it is you know don't be sad about what's happening as well or what you wanted to show up because i'm just seeing that you are on path to a lot of success and sagittarius season you know you might find that you have some doubts and you question things but actually it's just that universe is making sure that it, it happens at the right time we have the princess of pentacles here so it's just about more time needed that's the message that i'm getting really loud and clear for group three is that things need a little bit more time to mature and develop but there is going to be um peace restored for you guys in sagittarius season so you're going to feel a lot more harmony um and uh, they're saying justice to me to be honest i feel like for group three anything could happen in sagittarius season i'm getting these messages but even now they're like that might change that might change so group three you might be undergoing some personal changes right now and you might actually be um getting yourself into alignment i feel like group three if you actually can create some shifts within your own energy if you can get yourself into alignment get yourself into your power and feeling really stable then anything could happen for you in sagittarius season you know you only have one major arcana out the high priestess and you know i'm just picking up that literally this is a mystery group three you possibly are a group who um you feel like you need to know the answers you need to know what's happening so they're saying look we're not really going to tell you anything could happen for you guys all this could change it's about you you create the change within yourself we have king of wands so you need to balance your own masculine and feminine feminine energy out and you need to take action and take charge in your life because as you take charge and take responsibility for your own life and environment i'm just picking up that literally anything could happen you're co-creating your Sagittarius season with the universe. So this change needs to start with you. Yeah, three of pentacles, teamwork and collaboration. If you pick group three, actually, this is a really exciting group because what I'm getting is that for you guys, this is an open book. You're writing your Sagittarius season. You get to choose what happens, but you need to... to like co-create with the universe put your wishes out there and then get yourself into alignment to receive them okay let's get your last card yep eight of swords you limit yourself that is the, the only thing that is blocking you right now is um some kind of mental restraint you've put on yourself you break free of that and sagittarius season could be very very good for you you do get to choose you get to choose what your next few weeks is like and this really is about freeing yourself from whatever is limiting you right now and holding you back and starting to realize how you can take action towards your own dreams and you can start manifesting the life you want to live so that's an interesting group okay i hope you've enjoyed this pick a card reading sending you lots of love and light